Hello, Sagittarius. Hello, happy September to you. This is Adrian Igo, Capricorn Tigress from Astrology A Look Inside, here to do your September horoscope for Sagittarius in the month of September of 2018. So as I look at the chart I've got here in front of me, I can see that the emphasis for you guys is really going to be up near the top of your chart. Actually, you're going to have a lot of emphasis in your career. Um, in the beginning of the month, the sun and Mercury are going to be in your 10th house of career, your reputation, your image, you know, what people think about when they think about you, you know, um, your boss, I can see you getting along really well with your, like, your superiors and your, the authorities that are, are above you, your parents, I could see that going well, uh, well, your father figure, but I could see that, um, your career should be really great in the beginning of September. Um, I just, I hope you've got everything, all your ducks lined up in a row because I, I, this would be the time to take advantage of it. And this is really so because on the 9th, there's going to be a new moon in Virgo in your solar 10 towels. So I hope you prepare for this and, and you can take advantage of this because this is really indicating that you're going to have a hopefully of the sun that's a boost to your career. And so that's wonderful. Now on the 22nd, you know, the sun's going to be moving out of your 10th house and going into your solar 11th house. But that's still very positive. You're going to have Mercury going into your, um, into Libra on the 21st. And then the sun is going to move into Libra on the 22nd. And those are in, the, then it'll be in your solar 11th house of hopes and dreams and wishes and your friends and groups and organizations. And, you know, that's actually a very good place. I, I love when there's emphasis in the 11th house, but more importantly, it's because it's in Libra and the 11th house is an Aquarius house. So it's already in a very good positive mode, but that Libra sextiles uh, Sagittarius. And so that's positive. The sun is going to sextile you um, by the, around the 22nd or after. So, you know, look forward to that. But in the beginning of the month, the emphasis is on the career. It's on the 10th house and, you know, all the things that represent the 10th house. And what's amazing is that the other area of, you know, activity for the month of September is happening in Capricorn, down in your solar second house. And the second house rules your house of money. It's your money. It's the things you possess. It's what you have to give to others. What you you have, you know. I always think of the second house as, you know, I don't know, people sitting down and breaking bread together at dinner or something. Like, it's one of those things where you, you get to, it's your stuff. It's where you amass your toys. And so, you know, Pluto's there, so there's power there. But Saturn is there. And I'll just say this about Saturn. You know, you guys just came through a situation where Saturn was on Sagittarius for, a, I, I'm sure it felt like an unbelievable amount of time, okay? Uh, it's two years, but it probably <laughs> felt like forever, right? So finally... Uh, you know, it gets out of Sagittarius and um, it Saturn has been retrograding backwards towards Sagittarius all summer long. Now, thank goodness it's going to go direct. Thank goodness, I believe on the 6th. Let me just check and make sure of my date. Yep, Saturn stations direct on the 6th of September. And that is a very good thing because if you've had any holdups with your money and your finances, um, it could have been because Saturn has been retrograding in your second house of money. 
and Pluto's there, and that's been retrograding. And no one wants that powerhouse retrograding in anything that has to do with money. So hopefully, when these two planets go direct, you're going to start feeling a little bit of boost there. And I think between, you know, that forward motion in the second house and that emphasis of the sun and the mercury and that beautiful new moon that happens on the ninth that hopefully you'll have an increase of of money in your career now of course virgo is square um sagittarius and so even though it's a square i think when we're talking about things like beneficial planets like the sun and mercury and that new moon hopefully we're talking about m more beneficial things that aren't going to necessarily be negative for you Sagittarius is and don't forget that squares often signify activity so you know it could be that extra boost that you need to to get your butt up and get going and working toward whatever that career goal was in the first place so i i'm going to look at it as a very positive experience and i would still say that after the 9th of september it would be a great time to pursue whatever career goals that you want to set forth now there is between you know that new moon on the 9th and the full moon which happens on the 24th i would say do all that you can get all that you can in for your career during that time because the full moon happens on the 24th and then that means everything's going to be waning from then and it's all going to be you know kind of constricting and restricting and not really uh, growing like it would be under a new moon to a full moon so be aware of that and that full moon is happening in aries and that's going to be happening in your solar fifth house on the 24th of september and i wonder you know how that's going to affect you i can see if you have children oh man they're going to be really emotional that day that's going to be not so good um but it, it could also mean something i mean it's a culmination day if it were me, I would go out gambling that day. <laughs> I don't know. And just take advantage of that full moon at last moment before it actually starts to go down on the other side and starts to wane. And the goodness of the aspect is no longer there. Uh, you are going to have Uranus in Taurus. Um, and that's your solar six house. I wonder how that's going to affect your work life. Like I said, there's going to be emphasis in your career. So I could see your, you know, I could see there being some, something different, something unique happening in your career. Maybe something different happening with your health. Hope your health is okay. Take care of yourself. And don't eat too many sweets. And try to avoid too many starches because Uranus is in your sixth house right now and that just indicates something out of the blue and shocking and different happening with your health or your you know yeah or even your work your health or your work could also indicate that you could heal suddenly though that's amazing because that's a trine to the new moon and also some trines to Saturn and Pluto so, yeah, I can see a, a miraculous healing happening. So, you know, you've got Neptune down in the fourth house. And I didn't really discuss that much because that's really opposing a lot of that uh, Virgo emphasis that you're going to have up in the tenth house. And when I see Pisces down in the fourth house, I think, okay, this person has all that emphasis going on at the top of their chart. Let's hope they don't just sit home and, you know, just veg out and watch Netflix and Hulu and, you know, drink tequila and eat too much. Don't do that. Take advantage of Virgo up in your 10,000. Get out and take advantage of, you know, your career and your image and just do it up a little bit this month. 
Now, um, Mars is going to be going from Capricorn into Aquarius, and you know it's it's been teetering back and forth, and finally it it you know it's going to go direct, and Mars finally goes, you know, direct in Capricorn. It went direct on the um, 27th of August, but it finally gets into Aquarius on the 10th of September. So, yeah. Yeah, it finally gets there on the 10th of September. And I'm going to be very happy that it's going forward. And that Mars is going to be going into your third house. Which means it's really going to be emphasis on like your written communication and speech. And talking with other people. Especially like around your neighborhood and family members. Brothers, sisters, cousins travel, cars, things like that. You know, when Mars is in the third house, I always say be careful of accidents. You know? Just be careful, like, with your car. Don't go... Because Sagittarius is like to move fast, right? Don't drive too fast. Be cautious. You know, that type of thing. Alright? So, this has been my reading for you wonderful Saggies for the month of September. Even though it's a Virgo month and it's square your little Sagittarius suns, I would take advantage of that activity happening up in your 10th house and use it to your advantage and move your career ahead. Because this is a month that you could do that. The sun and Mercury are there. You could come up with some amazing ideas. And then when it moves into your, you know, your 11th house, that's hopes, dreams, and wishes. So get the ball rolling when it's in Virgo. And reap the rewards when it gets into Libra. Okay. Well, this has been Capricorn Tigress with Astrology a Look Inside. Wishing all of you Sagittariuses a beautiful September of 2018. Much love and much light to you all. I know. <laughs>